spent the better part of yesterday, uh, well, late last night, I finished the uh, shanks, smoothed them up after I hammered the weld and all that. And um, this morning I've prepared part of the mouthpiece. This mouthpiece is going to be five and three eighths um, from outside to outside. And I've cut a piece of half inch stock that is five and three eighths, just a straight bar around coal roll of steel. And then I have some bushings that I prepared this morning that are three quarters of an inch long. And I uh, used a one eighth inch drill bit and center, well, I center punched, drilled it out with like a pilot hole and then and drilled these, what I would call little bushings out. Now I'll TIG weld these to the end on each end like this and uh, then I'll set this aside for a little bit and then I need to bend the center port on my uh, mouthpiece bending jig. I've cut a piece of 4130. This is a rigid material. It's 3 8 in diameter and I cut it five and a half. What I'll do is heat and bend this a, in a U shape on my mouthpiece jig and once I take that out and straighten it I need to hammer the top part flat on the anvil. I have to heat it a couple times and hammer it out flat and then arch it back a little bit and then I'll figure out um, uh, where I need to cut that after it's in a U shape and cut it to length so I can uh, uh, TIG weld it to the center of this bar that I I'll have the uh, the end pieces uh, welded onto. So I'll put the mouthpiece right in the center. I'll weld all around it, and then I'll come back and cut the the center piece out, and then um, do some shaping up. Then I'll do some J Flex belt sanding. Get the mouthpiece ready to set in the shanks. And then that's another story. I've got to uh, um, drill some. I'll center punch a hole there, use a pilot drill, and then I'll drill um, a, I've got this big drill bit right here. It's just under three quarters. I think it is, uh, it's 11 sixteenths. I don't have a good sharp three, uh, three quarters, so I'm going to use this 11 sixteenths. And then with my die grinder, I'm, I'll hog out just a little bit at the top and the bottom. And then I've got to center punch um, um, like a 3 16th hole at the top and the bottom of that hole. And I'll drill that out. And then I'll um, saw down from my hole down to that. Do a little hand filing. And that, that area will be to inset my 3 16th inch pins. These bushings are drilled out to a quarter of an inch. And this bit the one, the example I used to make the, the drawing, um, it was somewhat loose. That's the way uh, my customer wanted his bit set up. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it will not have a metal bar across the bottom. He prefers a, a leather slobber strap. So once the bit's made and I get the concho engraved, I'll uh, um, fix a leather slobber strap.
Okay, I've got my port well, pretty well prepared like I want it. I've got it hammered flat, arched back, cut it off where I want it, and I put a bevel on that. I've got my mouthpiece, uh, the bar set here, and I've got my bushings on each end. Spent a little time getting all that adjusted like I want it. And I came back and trimmed a little bit off. I felt like I was going to have that mouthpiece just a little bit too wide. So I want it. <clears throat> this particular one from where the outside of the 3 16th pin to the outside of the 3 16th pin I want that dimension 5 and 3 8 and I've got that set pretty close to that dimension right there so what I'm going to do right now is lay a bead around this with my TIG welder and I'll come back and before I uh, set this on there. I'm going to make sure that it is uh, uh, symmetrical. I'll take a uh, a couple steel rods and put in there so I can eyeball that and uh, also put a measurement on it and make sure it's uh, straight. Uh, if it needs a little correcting I can put it in a vise and heat it and adjust it one way or the other but I think I can probably get it the first time. And let's see once I get that done, I will uh, I will shim this up. I've got some thin, small shims that I'll set the mouthpiece right in the center, and it will put that right in the middle of that bar right there. It, and then I'll TIG weld that all around, and then um, inspect that. And then I'll come back and cut the center out here, and then I'll do some contouring on my belt sander to get that mouthpiece the shape that I would like it. So that's where I'm at right now with this uh, custom bit. got my center hole for the mouthpiece drilled and I still need to come in here and just uh, die grind out just a little bit at the top so my mouthpiece will fit in there and you'll notice that I've got um, a center punch mark at the top and the bottom there I'm going to drill that out with a 3 16 drill bit and then use my saw and saw down to that so my pin can set in there and then uh, uh, also, in the meantime, I'll work that where that mouthpiece sits down in there. As you'll notice, I've got a, um, a set punched or uh, um, actually uh, put a center mark there where I need to drill a 3 16th hole. I've got the mouthpiece sitting there. I like a little bit uh, having that hogged out so that it fit in there. But that's a progress so far. Okay. There's the center hole and then the two 3 16 holes there. And then here's the uh, shank that has the hole kind of wallered out. And I've uh, been working on that so it'll uh, fit in there. There's how the mouthpiece will fit. Those pins set down in there and they'll be... Um, welded on both sides and um, that'll secure that. Double check your work and make sure your mouthpiece does not bind up anywhere. Really work it good and check it two or three times. And another thing you might consider is uh, making sure this is smooth in this area. Kind of lay that back with your die grinder. After blending the welds, um, I used my that cutoff wheel uh, on that pedestal. 
just uh, I didn't use the pedestal, but I just used that cutoff wheel to kind of knock the wells down and blend those. And then from there, I went to the uh, two by seventy-two belt grinder and um, used the eighty grit to kind of radius the bottom of the port there. And then I went to J flex belts. I put a um, a new one twenty J flex belt on there, and uh, then I went. Well, I haven't gone to that yet. Um, next, I'll go to a three twenty. You'll notice I went ahead and put my maker's mark right up at the top of the port there. I just tacked the, uh, well, actually went ahead and welded it. Tacked it, checked it, and then came back and welded the pins in with my TIG welder. And uh, looks pretty good. I need to flare the top rings out just slightly. Not very much because of the width of this mouthpiece. That's five and three, um, five and three eighths. Um, that's plenty wide, so it just needs a slight amount of flare at the top to allow for the uh, thickness of the head stall against the horse's cheek.